Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another fall look. I already did like a warm brown bronzy look and then I did an olive green. And now I really wanted to do mauves and I feel like deep dark mauves are just so perfect for fall. So this is what I filmed for you guys. I hope that you enjoy. And if you wanna stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the ColourPop Making Mauves Pressed Powder Palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Big Moves. With my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm gonna start running the shadow through my crease. You're barely gonna see it, but I like applying a transition shade always first before I apply any of my other crease shadows. I just feel like it adds a little bit of dimension and helps make the other shadows blendable. I'm now picking up Big Fake. Now switching over to my E25 blending brush. So if you notice, I always apply my transition shade first with the E38, which is a little bit fluffier, so it kind of distributes and diffuses the shadow more. And then the E25 is a little bit more dense, but it's still fluffy where I can get a lot of precision and really intensify that shadow through my crease and then nicely blend it out. And as always, I'm starting with applying a little bit through the crease and now I'm applying a little bit more Obviously, it's always easier to apply a little at a time rather than applying a lot, and then you won't be able to blend it out. I'm also just winging this out a bit. Now, just using that same brush and picking up that same shadow, I'm going to start packing that onto my lid. So when I say packing, I mean like basically just tapping and swiping a little bit, really just tapping that all over the lid and intensifying that and applying it and then lightly blend through the crease and look at how easy that smoky eye is when you concentrate on blending your crease out first and then you just pop that shadow on your lid, you're basically done. And then lastly, I always go back in with the transition shade and my E38, so I'm picking up big moves and applying that at the very high point of the crease and you can see how nicely that just blended and diffused everything out. Now going into marquee. Now with my E68 Line Perfecto brush by Sigma, I'm gonna start adding a little bit of a smoky wing I just want a nice kind of defined lash line just in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take my E20 short shader brush and just start packing that on just to intensify it. And this really helps when you just flick it up kind of just to blend that out and smoke it out. Now just applying Big Fig with my E54 medium sweeper brush on the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm now picking up Bicoastal. Now with my F70 concealer brush, I'm just going to highlight my inner corner. Now going into the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. I'm now just going to line my upper waterline. I'm now going to apply mascara and false lashes, and I'm going to the Tati Lashes X Molly May in Every Day. And that's the eye look done. For my lip, I really want to do kind of a deep mauve to really tie in with the entire mauve look, but also kind of keep my lips nice and vampy that are perfect for fall. So I'm going to go into this Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Story. And that is it. This is the completed look of my fall mauve makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love the entire look. I love how the eyes are not super dramatic. They're kind of like still a little more on the subtle side, but a little dramatic, but not too glam, you know? <laughs> and then the lip is really nice and deep and vampy. I am obsessed. I feel like you could definitely use this look to transition into winter as well. So if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that'd be down in the description box, along with all the products that I use, along with my brush set with Sigma that I used to create this look. Will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload and i think that should be it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye